Hello, friends. Um, as I mentioned on Facebook, I'm pretty excited uh, to explore movie making aspects through generative AI. So recently, I got access to the most advanced, most capable model from Google called uh, Gemini Pro 1.5. So the beauty of this model is you can actually input pretty long PDFs or documents because it supports up to 1 million tokens. Tokens are the input uh, parameters for the model. So I was waiting for uh, getting access to this model. And as soon as I, I got that, I wanted to explore how does it really influence script writing and movie making? So uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar, but Film Companion, one of the popular uh, movie review site, actually has scripts for a lot of movies, a lot of good movies. And uh, being a massive fan, a huge fan of Gautam Meenan, I was fascinated to download the script of uh, Vinata Nivarvaya, M.I. Chesave in Telugu. So I downloaded this script and I've been reading that for a while. And it starts with this iconic dialogue, uh, which is very popular, uh, both in Telugu and Tamil. And this is a 90, 95 page document that has everything. This is a very detailed screenplay narration. It basically cuts across all the aspects of this movie. It talks about uh, the character profiles and how the camera shifts. And it looks like Gautam Minan wrote this uh, before actually finalizing this script. So this was tentatively called as Jesse. This was the working title before they finalized the name. And uh, the protagonist's name here is called Mahesh, whereas in the final movie, it was called Karthik. So there were sudden changes between the script and the final movie, but 99% of what I read in this remained in the movie. So my goal was to take this script and uh, switch that to Gemini and, and start exploring. So what I did is I basically uploaded this. Uh, so this is the same PDF that I've just shown you. And the first thing that I said is explain the plot of this movie. And when I uh, waited for a few seconds, it came back. Uh, Mahesh, that is the uh, name of the hero in the script that was changed to Kartik. So it, it actually picks all the right aspects. So plot summary, religious differences. So Jesse is a Christian and Mahesh is a Hindu. Age difference, uh, Jesse's internal conflict. And then it basically talks about the climax and uh, how the film celebrates the power of love and courage. So I was very, very impressed when I looked at this uh, plot summary. It actually scanned through 95 pages in less than a minute and came back with this plot summary. That's not all. I then actually asked, uh, what's the unique aspect about this narration? Because I'm always intrigued by Gautam Minan's taking. He has a, a very different way of narrating a story depending on the movie. Uh, if you if you look at Kaka Kaka versus uh, Vinatani Varuvaya and some of the movies that he made, he chooses a very unique style of narrating and the screenplay. So uh, definitely this was very uh, unique in terms of how Gautam Minan makes a movie. So it actually picked up dual narrative. And I was again blown away by how it actually found this. And this is just from the script. Uh, so it basically explains that the story is told from an alternating perspectives of both Mahesh and Jesse. Breaking the fourth wall. Uh, so this is basically, uh, you know, both Mahesh and Jesse directly address the audience through narration, creating a sense of intimacy and immediacy. So this is pretty, pretty clear. And it, it, it caught the intricacies of the screenplay. So blending fantasy with reality and then differences to popular culture and even some fun aspects like the hero uh, uh, making some statements on just his back, uh, internal monologues. So I was actually pretty interested in understanding more about the differences to popular culture. So I asked, expand on the references to the popular culture. I don't remember if this actually made it to the final movie, but again, based on the script, it actually found that there is a tune from Bombay uh, that is played when Mahesh sees Jesse. And it actually highlights that it's a religious conflict from Maniratnam's Bombay 
which was again an interfaith love amazing amazing it just caught very subtle aspects and this is almost like finding the needle in the haystack pretty powerful and then uh, it also uh, figured out another reference to a mallu movie that uh, the hero and his friend watches while uh, they are in kerala uh, to secretly meet jesse and i'm not sure uh, if it made it to the final movie but there is also a mention of mustafa mustafa references to manisha koirala and mention of world cinema which is uh, pretty pretty cool so uh, mahesh or kartik being uh, an aspiring movie maker he keeps making references to world cinema and even uh, that got picked up by jemini then i actually asked this which i have been waiting for if jessie is made by ram gopal verma one of my favorite directors i asked if this is made by rgv what significant changes would be made so it actually took i think 30 to 40 seconds and came back saying rgv would make this darker and grittier perfect that is the first impact that any rgv movie would have it is darker and very grittier emphasis on realism uh, rgv doesn't sugarcoat uh, he actually you know unveils unwraps and uncovers the truth so it actually talks about emphasis on realism minimalist dialogues uh, varma's movies have long pauses where there is no bgm pin drop silence and you only hear uh noises or uh, you know just the natural sounds without any bgm so it even picks that uh focus on male protagonist so unlike gautam minan's or shekhar kamula's movies rgv's focus is more on the uh protagonist and the hero uh, and and he makes them really powerful so exploration of violence psychological depth if you have watched sarkar satya and rakta charitra you know uh, rgv crafts these characters very carefully and he induces certain psychological aspects uh, into his character so it even talks about that this is almost like an expert film critic who has been watching indian cinema for about half a century you know analyzing the uh, intricate details of movie making by these iconic directors and then comparing and contrasting and then i asked what is the ideal cast if jesse is made in telugu and look at this it came back with first choice is vijay devarkonda and interestingly uh, one of the most recent vijay devarkondas and samantha's movie uh, is kushi which is slightly crafted around that and the other important thing to note is jemini is an ai model it doesn't have access to internet so it is not that it is performing a search behind the scenes and coming back it's actually trained on a data set and it is applying its reasoning rather than an online search so when i asked uh, what is the ideal cast if this is made in telugu it, it, it comes back with vijay devarkonda and then nagashetanya very interestingly it is nagashetanya who replaces simbu in the telugu version amazing and then he picked up samantha as the first choice uh for telugu cast amazing and as you know in mi chesave it was samantha who indeed played the uh, role of chesi so it, it is so clear and it was very close uh to what a casting director would have uh, chosen so uh vivek who is the friend of uh Uh, of of Karthik, the hero, it actually suggests Nani or Sharvanan. Both of them are great choices, but I don't think they will ever agree to play a sidekick of a hero. In Telugu, it was played by uh, Krishnuru, who is a well-known comedian. Uh, Jerry, who is the brother of uh, Jesse, it it actually suggests Rana Dagubati uh, or Ravi Sesh. Both of them portray anger and complexity of Jerry's character. Absolutely true, but it was uh, actually Sudhir Babu who played, and Jesse's father. prakash raj no brainer you know uh, uh, the data set uh, every movie related data set points to prakash raj as a as a father and then srikant now, this is a very interesting choice so srikant who has been uh, one of the top heroes of 90s is now playing character roles and uh, he is one of the uh, top choices to play the role of a father and then it actually says shekhar kamula because he is sensitive and uh, his realistic portrayal will make it a suitable choice to direct jesse 
Now it will be fantastic if Sekar Kamala uh, uh, actually does a love story like this. Of course, he did. Uh, many of his movies are sensitive love stories, and he comes very close uh, to Gautam Menon's uh, uh, way of telling. You know, they, though their taking is very different, there is a, a similarity of sensitivity that is common between uh, Gautam Menon's and Sekar Kamala's movie. Trivikram Srinivas uh, may not be the best choice, but it's a second second uh, option. Now. I asked, how about the music? Given that Jesse is a musical, who can be the music director? And look at this, A.R. Rahman. I'm again blown away by how close it came and how uh, ideal or, or how uh, perfect in terms of, you know, handpicking the technicians. So it says first choice is A.R. Rahman, legendary composer, absolutely. Then DSP, Taman, Gopi Sindar, Mickey Jenner. And then I said, if is this already made in Telugu? Because it came so close, I actually wanted to cross-check if Gemini is cheating me. So I said, are you, uh, do you know if this is made in Telugu? It says, no, the film Jesse described uh, is very different because there is another movie by name Jesse. It's a horror movie. I watched that. It's nowhere close to this. So it even told me it's a different genre and a different plot. Then I asked if Jesse was made in Telugu during 90s, who could be the ideal cast? It comes back and says, Pavan Kalyan, Mahesh Babu, uh, Jesse could be Saundarya, uh, Vivek could be Srikant, Jigwit Babu, and uh, you know, some characters. So interestingly, Kota Srinivasrao, again, the most played for the characters were by Kota Srinivasrao back in the 90s. And it says RGV should have been the director if this was made in 90s, not bad. Now, who could be the music director if this was made in the 90s in Telugu? So, first choice, Ilai Raja, no-brainer. And then it comes back and again says, yes, Rahman. So, it says, even in 90s, Rahman was already making waves with his innovative and captivating music. Then it lists Kirwani and uh, so on. It also picked up Koti, which is uh, pretty interesting because Koti was one of the top three directors of 90s. And then... I said, suggest the ideal cast of Jesse is made in Tamil today. So it says Danush or Sivakartikeyan. Actually speaking, if Gautam Minan decides to make Jesse today, uh, if he hadn't made it earlier, I would vote for Sivakartikeyan. He would actually make uh, uh, the character of Kartik very lively, very subtle and very humorous. And Jesse, the second choice still is Trisha Krishnan, according to Gemini. And Vivek, I don't think Vijay Sethupati will agree, or maybe he is playing character roles these days. Yogi Babu, uh, Jerry, Arya, and Vishal. Uh, again, good choices, but they won't f f essentially agree to those characters. But Jesse's father, Satyaraj, is a pretty good choice. And director, it says Vetrimaran, known for realistic and hard hitting, but uh, this is not close. But look at the second option, Gautam Neenan. It actually picked up. Uh, if we shuffle this a little bit and tweak this a little bit, it's very, very close. Finally, I asked this, you know, if you have watched, if you remember uh, both the Telugu and Tamil version of uh, Vinadandi Varvai, there is an iconic dialogue. You know, of all the girls, why did I choose you? So I actually have gone ahead and asked, what do you think of one dialogue, you know, that audience will remember for a long time? Mention one and only one dialogue and guess what? This is what... I was, again, super impressed. And, you know, look at the PDF. It actually starts with this. And this dialogue repeats so often. And, you know, those who were in their colleges back in uh, late 2010 uh, or, or early 2011, when, when this movie was released, this was resonating and echoing across a lot of campuses. So this was like an iconic dialogue. And interestingly, it actually picked up. And not only that, it also justifies why uh, that dialogue is memorable and why it is really iconic. So it expresses vulnerability, it highlights the central conflict, it evokes empathy, remains open-ended, perfect. And uh, now look at this. Finally, I said, what if Jesse was made by Telugu director K. Viswanath? Now K. Viswanath, I'm sure most of you know, he is a very um, sensible director. He blends the the uh, literature, art uh, into movies. And some of the movies like Swatinguthiyam and Sagar Sandhamam, all of them stand out for this very specific element. So if 
Jesse were made by Viswanath, we would expect a very different film compared to the original concept uh, or a potential RGV version. Uh, so Viswanath is known for his distinct style. So it brings in classical and artistic sensibilities. Amazing. Uh, strong female characters. Viswanath is known uh, for creating strong and independent female characters. Uh, remember Sattapati, remember uh, Swamilakamulam, the character of Banupriha. It's just amazing. So, uh, focus on family and tradition. Very unique trait of Keshwanath's movie. Satinity and restraint. Uh, philosophical undertones. Rural setting. Now, if you connect all the dots, it reminds you of uh, many, many well acclaimed uh, very well-known movies of uh, Viswanath. So finally, I said, if we have to bring a strong antagonist into the plot, what changes uh, would be made? So it says, create a rival love interest, a triangular love story, make Jerry more formidable opponent. Jerry is basically just his brother. Uh, introduce a villainous figure who will interfere in their love story. Focus on societal pressure. Uh, again, very, very uh, dramatic and very South Indian. If you actually see, there are maybe thousands of movies with these elements. So Gemini is smart enough to figure out what is the audience pulse and bring that element into the uh, villain character. And then can you suggest two alternates for the ending? So uh, Jesse, or uh, basically the Telugu version, which is EMI Chesave, and the Tamil version, Vinatandi Varva, had a very different uh, climax. Uh, uh, chosen by uh, was the Minan, Gautam was the Minan. So one is a happy ending, the other one uh, they they actually uh, separate. So it actually calls that out. It says bittersweet ending where they walk away, um, they break up with a bittersweet ending, which would highlight the tragic consequences of societal prejudice and sacrifices. And open ending. The film ends with Jesse calling off her wedding and confessing her love for Mahesh. But the final scene shows Mahesh and Jesse standing at crossroads, uncertain of their future. Now, this reminds me of the climax of Gitanjali, where we don't know what is the climax. We don't know what is the ending. We only hope uh, the hero and heroine uh, met and, and lived a happy life together. So... It's just amazing. So these alternate endings offer different perspectives. And look at this. What completely blew me away is the power of AI. Put in a very creative director, uh, in the hands of a creative director, whether it is Gautam Mina or RGV or uh, any of the contemporary directors, this is a very powerful tool. It helps them brainstorm. It is almost like a co-director. It's almost like a casting director. It's almost like a technician who can uh, basically recommend the best of the breed, technicians, cast, uh, different plots, psychological profile of characters, whatnot. This is just so powerful. I'm truly amazed by the capability. So uh, this is the demo that I wanted to share with you. It's not really technical. Uh, there is no code written. I'm using Google's AI Studio. Just uploaded uh, the script available on Film Companion. You can try this too if you have access to Gemini 1.5 Pro. So uh, that was a quick walkthrough that I wanted to make. Uh, I, I hope you like this. And I will come back to you with additional findings and observations and commentary about the impact of AI on movie making. Stay tuned.